channel. So today I'm recording a very highly requested tutorial which is showing how to contour using the Sosu Complete Contour Palette. So today I have used it to, sh to highlight a contour. I've used it for eyeshadow, tidying up brows and for highlighting. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do all of that by using one palette, the Sosu Complete Contour Palette that's just $29.95. So if you want to find out how I created this look using my palette, then just stay watching. Okay, so starting with my face, I always use a primer. So this is the YSL Top Secrets Primer that I've been using for some time now. And I absolutely love it, so I'm going to pop this on. After I've applied my primer, I always start with my foundation. Now, Chloe Boucher gave me a really good tip on using shade four in the contour palette as foundation, so I'm going to use that today. Shade four is this yellowy um, based concealer, and I'm gonna use that all over the face. Taking my crown brush, small duo fiber brush. So just starting with the sides of my face, I'm gonna blend it all over. Okay, so now that I have a light layer of shade 4 on, this is the result. I obviously haven't brought it too far down onto my neck and put as much on my neck, so I will at the end of the video. But as you can see, it just gives a nice overall coverage. Um, it's still quite dewy, so you kind of get that nice sheen off it. And now I'm going to go in now and start to actually contour my face. So using the same brush I used for my foundation, and um, into shade 2 which is the darker colour. I'm going to use this to contour underneath the cheekbone. And you don't have to worry too much about this being, um, you know, neat or anything like that because we're going to blend it all in anyway. And then I generally bring it up into the temples, like so, around the top of the hairline, back down into the temple just to meet the line there underneath my cheekbone. And that is the area that I would mainly contour. Taking my crown brush C456, I'm going to go back into that shade too. And I'm just going to bring the darker colour down either side of my nose. This gives the illusion of a slimmer nose. Okay, so that's exactly where I contour. And the whole idea of contouring is to create an oval shaped face. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to create an oval shaped face by contouring under the cheekbones, into the temples, along the top of the hairline, back down into the temples and underneath the cheekbone again. And now what we're going to do is highlight, which is areas that attract light, that you want to stand out or you want to jump out the most. So taking a C456 brush again and into the lightest shade, which is shade one of my contour palette. I apply this in a V underneath the eye and then just up into the temples. And then down along the side of the nose. And back in again and down into a V. and down along the side of the nose. Now the good thing about my concealers are they're really, really creamy. If you want a little bit, you just lightly put your brush into the concealer and apply it on your face. Or if you want to go quite heavy, you just put a little bit more on the brush. They are buildable and that is why I made them this way. So you kind of can get different looks. And then finally for highlighting, you want to go down the center of the nose to create a slimmer nose and then just fan up into the middle of the forehead. And then sometimes I just put a little bit on the middle of my chin. I might keep it slow. Okay, so when you've applied your contour and highlight, you're gonna look a little bit like this, which I look like a weirdo, but don't worry because you're gonna blend it in then afterwards. To blend, I use my Sosu um, Pro Blender and I just dampen it down with a little bit of Inglot Fixing Spray. So just to damp it, down 
You should always use your blender damp because it just works better with the concealers and it doesn't feel as kind of like it's dragging your skin. And then I just start to blend. So it depends what color you want to blend first. I always start with the darkest. So with the darker color, I just press it into the skin ever so lightly. And then just continue to do exactly that, pushing it into the skin, removing any kind of harsh lines. And this really would be um, a nighttime look because it's quite intense. I do have the powders in my kit as well, which is why it's called the complete kit. So if you don't like a really contoured look for during the day, you can just use the powders. Okay, and then for the highlight, I use the same blender. And I just kind of remove any kind of the excess of the darker colour off into my hand like so. And again, you're just going to press the concealer into your face. I come back and I do my nose at the very, very end. And then after I've pressed most of the concealers in, I'm just going to go back down alongside my nose with my small duo brush, duo brush, sorry, just to blend that in a little bit more. And that is step one complete of the contour. So you can still see the shadows here and you can see the highlights here. So that's what you want to look like at the end of your blending. You want to be able to see your shadows, you want to be able to see your highlights. Taking my crown brush, C405 contour brush and the lighter color, the banana powder, I'm gonna dip in here. I'm just going to press ever so slightly underneath the eyes. I don't powder underneath my eyes too much because I don't like that real creased um, eye look because it just ages us a little bit more or makes us look a little bit aged. So just dabbing into the powder and then shaking my brush to take off any excess. And I always just set underneath where I contour it as well with the lighter powder. Center of the nose, up into the middle of the forehead. And then the exact same thing with the contour. So into the shade six, which is my dark bronzer. So this is a matte bronzer, perfect for contouring during the day if you don't want to use concealers or for setting your concealers. So again, my angled brush into my shade six. And I'm just going to set the darker color here. And this just also reinforces the contour because when you blend it out, sometimes you can, you can kind of get rid of the shape. You can blend it out a little bit too much and then it loses its shape. So I just go back in with the powder and I kind of just reinforce the contour again. Okay, so after I have set the contour, that is pretty much it for the moment. I do come back to the um, contouring at the end, but for now I'm gonna fill in my brows and do a little bit of light eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be using the, the Sosu Contour Kit for this part as well. For my brows, I've already done a detailed tutorial on this, so I'm not gonna spend too much time showing you how I do my brows. But if you wanna check out how I do my brows in detail, I'll leave a link to that tutorial below. Okay, so that's my eyebrows filled in. What I always do with my eyebrows, after I fill them in, I actually clean up the eyebrow to make it just jump out that little bit more. And I actually use one of the colors in my kit to do that, I'm gonna show you how. So using a small nib brush, dipping into shade one, I'm going to carve out the eyebrow to just make it stand out that little bit more. So what I tend to do here is, I just highlight with shade one underneath the eyebrow. like that. And as you can see, one eyebrow just looks cleaner than the other one. So just by using a little bit of concealer underneath the eyebrow, it definitely makes a difference. Okay, so here's a tip. For those of you who like a little bit of color on the eyes, but you don't want to spend ages doing your eyeshadow, maybe you've got a school run in the mornings, or maybe you've got to catch a train, then I have the perfect tip for you. Taking shade six from my palette, which is the dark bronzer, and just a fluffy brush, you want to dip into shade six, and ever so slightly, just start to blend that powder into the lid, and just bring it up to where your crease of your eye is.
Okay, um, that's the bronzer onto the lids. It just, as you can see, makes the eyes jump out a little bit more. And we just wanna just blend it a little bit more here at the crease. So taking shade three, which is my lightest powder, I then just apply that underneath the brow where we tidied it up using the concealer. This not only highlights the eye, but it also sets the concealer under the brow. As you can see, not only are these powders great for contouring, you can use them as well for your eyes. So really this kit for $29.95, my Sosu Complete Contour Kit, is really money's worth. And that was so important for me when creating this kit. I wanted it multifunctional. I wanted to have everything in there from highlighting to contouring to setting your concealers. And I wanted it underneath the 50 euro mark. So I do feel that it really is worth its weight in gold. So now I want to finish off my face. So what I do is I use highlighter here and blush. So people will ask me how to use the highlighter from my kit, which is shade five. So it's this one here. And this is the best way to use it because it's a cream concealer in my opinion. I use it loads of different ways, but the quickest and most effective way that I use it is, I take my blender and I just spritz it down again. I dab into shade five, which is my highlighter. And what I do is I just press it ever so slightly into the cheekbones and it gives a gorgeous dewy highlight. So just the tips of the cheekbones is usually where I like a little bit of highlight. Down the centre of the nose. And my cupids bow. I just put a little small bit on for during the day and as you can see there, it just gives a beautiful dewy finish. Natural, not too over the top. And some highlighters will almost change the colour of your foundation and your face to like a really grey white. This just gives you the perfect highlight without doing that. I then take my blush. So I'm going to use this one from Sleek. It's Blush by 3 in Lace. I'm going to use this really nice orangey colour. I love like peach tones on brunettes. And I'm just going to just pop it on literally the tips of my cheeks. And then at the very end of my makeup, I just ensure that everything is just blended evenly. And I just sometimes run my C406 Large Duo brush from Crown Brush just all over the face to make sure that no harsh lines are visible. And then I generally blend it all down into my neck and powder my neck as well. Sometimes I like to add just a little bit more bronzer depending on if I've moved it with my blush and stuff. So you can just place a little bit just right there in the hollows of the cheeks to give a little bit of extra definition. It really is personal preference, how much you like. And then finally is lips. At the moment, my combo favorite is Urban Decay 1993 Lip Liner. Uh, lipstick is number 64, Simplicity from uh, Fuchsia. As you can see, I love it. I wear it all the time. And that is the finished look using the Sosu Complete Contour Palette that contains concealers, highlighters, powders, really everything. So as you can see, I've done my highlight and contour using the palette. I've done a little bit of bronzer slash blush, even though I use the sleek as well. I still always use a little bit of bronzer to colour up my cheeks. I've used the concealers underneath my brows. I've used the powders on my eyes. And yeah, that's it. So very, very simple to use, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give a thumbs up. The palette is in pharmacies now available um, and it will be back in stock at the end of February on sosu.ie. Thank you so much for all your feedback to date. I am thrilled. And don't forget to hashtag Sosu Contour with all of your creations using this palette so I can regram all your work. So that's it from me. Hope you learned a tip or trick or two and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.